All right, um, another reminder that if you're using these videos, you want to have tried it as much as you can yourself. Um, and that if you get help on any parts of problems, um, you need to go back over it later and make sure you can do it by yourself eventually. So these are geometry skills that come up in calculus. There's not a ton of geometry in calculus, but there are a few things we need to be able to do. We need to be able to find areas and we need to be able to set up uh, diagrams. So um, the areas we need to be able to find are rectangles, triangles, um, trapezoids, you can get around, no, you need trapezoids, and circles. So let's make sure we know this. Um, the area of a rectangle is length times width, or base times height. Triangles are base times height divided by two, or sometimes we say one half the base times the height. Circles are pi r squared, that's the area of a circle. And a trapezoid is, um, you add the two bases together, the two parallel sides, and divide it by two. This finds the average of the two bases and then multiply it times the height. So let's see how this looks. We've got h of x. This is from um, these, these types of diagrams show up on every AP exam. And you have to be able to find the area, um, although it's in a calculus context. Um, we've got a line segment and a line segment. It says there are line segments between x equals negative 4 and 2. These are line segments. And then there's a quarter of a circle. Okay, so this is a quarter of a circle. Um, so obviously this is the center of that circle because this is a distance of three and this is a distance of three. So we've got a quarter of a circle. All right, part one says, find the area in the first quadrant. So we do need to know our quadrants. This is quadrant one, two, three, and four. It makes a C. Um, quadrant one, two, three, and four. So the area in the first quadrant bounded by, bounded by means like enclosed by, um, these are going to be the boundaries, the x-axis, so here's the x-axis in the first quadrant, the y-axis, um, and h of x. So these are the boundaries, so the area bounded by this is this area right here. So the question is what is that area? Well we want to break this into two shapes. I see a very clear rectangle right here, and the area of that rectangle is 2 times 3. Um, by the way, uh, on the this would come up in the free response portion of the AP exam, and you want to be used to showing your calculations. You need to show the 2 times the 3, plus the area of this quarter of a circle is the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. So pi times the radius, which is the distance from the center to the outside. So pi times 3 squared. And it's only a quarter of a circle, it's not the whole circle, so we divide that answer by 4. So this is 6 plus 9 pi over 4, and that's the area. Um, there's no real great way to simplify it. You can simplify it into a single fraction, but this is completely fine. All right, um, let's do one more. Let's do number 3. Find the area bounded by h of x. So again, here's h of x. The line y equals negative 3. It's a horizontal line. The line x equals 5. And so we want the area bounded by this. And so again, this is the boundaries are right here. Um, so it's this area. Okay. So, you know, we already have the area in the first quadrant. That's 6 plus 9 pi over 4. We just need the rest of this area. So I'm going to just start with 6 plus 9 pi over 4 from part A. Oh, this goes right here. 6 plus 9 pi over 4. Um, and then we've got a couple options. We could break this into a triangle and a rectangle right here. That's one way to do it. Or, um, and this is this is the faster way, is to just use this trapezoid. We can find the area of this whole trapezoid all at once. Um, you do want to be able to do this. You add the two parallel bases and divide by 2 to find an average height. So base 1 is, this length is 1 plus base 2 is a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, divided by 2, 
times the height of the trapezoid, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we also have this one more rectangle here. So plus, we've got a base length of 5 times a height of 3. And so we've got 6 plus, um, here, 6 times 2, we can divide, the, rather than make it 5 halves times 6, we can just do 6 divided by 2 first. Uh, it's a little uh, arithmetic shortcut. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. And then we've also got um, another 15 here. And we have the 9 pi over 4. I just put the 9 pi over 4 at the end. So I split up the 6 plus 9 pi over 4 so I could have my like terms together. You didn't have to do that, but you could. 36 plus 9 pi over 4. So that's finding areas. Um, so circles, triangles, rectangles, trapezoids. Um, the next thing is being able to set it up. This is a pretty classic calculus setup. We will definitely do, be doing a problem exactly like this later uh, this year. Consider a ladder leaning against a wall. The ladder is 13 feet long. The distance from the base of the ladder to the wall is x. And the distance from the uh, along the wall from the top of the ladder to the ground is y. The angle between the base of the ladder and the ground is theta. Draw a clearly labeled diagram of the situation above. Um, again, if you haven't done this already yourself, if you got like discouraged by the first part, um, stop the video right now and try to do this yourself because just watching me do it isn't very helpful. And it takes a lot more work to go back later and make sure you actually know it. Um, so, but you know, if you need the help, I'll help you on it. There's a ladder leaning against the wall. So here's the wall. You don't have to write wall, but I'm doing it for you. Here's a wall, and there's a ladder leaning against the wall. Obviously, the bottom is on the ground. This is the ground. And here's the ladder. There is absolutely no reason to um, write out the words of what is in your picture. I'm just doing it for clarity here. Now, let's see what we know. The ladder is 13 feet long. This we do need to label in our diagrams. This ladder is 13 feet long. Um, the distance from the base of the ladder the base of the ladder is right here, that's the bottom of the ladder, to the wall is x, so this distance is x. The distance along the wall, so here's the wall, the distance along the wall from the top of the ladder, that's right here, to the ground is y. And this makes sense, we usually use x for horizontal distances and y for vertical distances. And the angle between the base of the ladder and the ground, so here's the base of the ladder and the ground, this angle is theta. Okay. Write an equation relating x to y. I need some relationship between x and y. Well, x is not equal to y. We don't know that like y is bigger than x. We don't really know anything except that there is a geometry trick we can use, which is that because walls come at right angles, we have a right triangle. And for white, right triangles, we have a relationship, the Pythagorean theorem. So we've got that x squared plus y squared equals 13 squared, which is 169. Um, that's it. That is an equation relating x and y. This is a relationship between x and y. Okay. Write an equation relating x to theta, not involving y. So I need a relationship between theta and x, um, and it can't involve y. Well, again, we're going to make use of the fact that this is a right triangle, and we know that there are all these ratios we can use. Um, we know that this and this have a relationship with theta. Uh, and that relationship is that cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So it's x over 13. That's an equation that is a relationship between theta and x. That's it. That's all we needed to do. If the base of the ladder is 5 feet from the wall, so the base of the ladder x is 5. This is telling us x is 5. We want to be able to take that information out. How far is the top of the ladder uh, from the bottom of the wall? So it's asking us what is y. Um, I'm going to let you solve this. Um, if you haven't figured it out already, you're going to need to use the relationship, the equation relating x to y that we came up with in this part. We're going to plug in x and solve for y. And if theta equals pi over 4, what is the distance of the top of the ladder from the base of the wall. So that's asking us for y. All right, so this time uh, we don't have an equation relating y to theta, but we can write one. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's write, write a new equation because they're looking for y. They give us theta. 
So let's write an equation that relates theta and y. Um, we don't want to use x because we don't know x. Um, but here we can use theta, y, and 13, and that's a sine ratio. Sine of theta is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And so this is an equation relating theta and y, and now we can plug in theta. Now, I hope you have already done your trig values mastery. Um, if you don't have your trig values mastered, then this becomes impossible to solve. Um, but I'm going to let you finish it from here, because if you haven't mastered your trig values yet, that's a good thing to go back and do.